So, the much anticipated Second Amendment of the 18th edition has been released. There's much to absorb, but the section I went to first was section 443, Protection Against Transient Overvoltage. I think it's fair to say that this section had created some confusion regarding the application of the guidance. A lot of opinions were voiced and a great many of installers went the option of fitting SPDs in domestic properties when some argued it wasn't required. This has resulted in a major redraft. OK, uh, this regulation deals with over voltages due to indirect lightning strikes. Uh, it's dropped the terminology of transient voltages of an atmospheric nature. It says it shall be provided where the consequences could result in serious injury or death, failure of a safety service, uh, power alarm etc, or significant data loss. The use of the word could opens up a heavy degree of responsibility for the designer, installer and inspector. And anyway, who is brave enough to say any of the above won't happen? The following paragraph, leaving it up to the owner, seems redundant. Unless someone has decided the consequences wouldn't result in any of the above. The section previously addressing over voltage caused by switching is now referred to as equipment. In this section, it has deleted information required for calculation. A big sigh of relief, I would imagine. Protection in this section are to be considered where voltages are likely to exceed impulse voltages stated in table 443. Dot two. The regulation draws attention to inductive or capacitive equipment. So, in conclusion, it seems that SPDs are the norm for all types of installations. What are your opinions and views on this topic? Please leave comments and like and subscribe if you found this useful.